This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Seattle Seahawks. the kicker Jason Myers to get this one started and off we go from Seattle and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line Scouting your opponent, not just the players, but the coaches too, and seeing what they call to begin a game, find out their tendencies. They recognize that only deep ball is part of their opposing game plan, and they walk out of guard when they show that. Well, look at this. They got the 7 0 lead in the pocket, and they're going to try an onside kick. Saints hands team able to rein this one in. The risk reward of the onside kick when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Car to throw on third and one. And able to complete it to Moreau. And he is going to have a Saints first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. On first and ten, here's Carr, eluding the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And that's a lesson learned from the previous drive. Last time he forced one, and it turned into a pick six. Here, he knows better, and he just throws that one away. Kamara off the middle. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his car on third down. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Saints. Chris Olave, 26 yards. And the Saints are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route 
take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Geno. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Smith. They'll get that to Charbonneau. Into space at the 45. Down the sideline he goes. Inside the 20. And down to the seven-yard line. Throwing now is Gino. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Smith throwing again. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Now Smith on third and goal. A repeat of the last play, finding Walker. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Man in motion left, that's Smith and Jigba. They'll run for it with Charbonnet. And I don't think he got in. He did it. He's stoned at the one-yard line. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Saints able to come up with a goal line stand. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build up the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a group. He's got the win, and there he goes. Room past the 35. He's got a full head of steam. The race is on. Touchdown, New Orleans. Taysom Hill. 98 yards, and the Saints have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted, and now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Dwayne Eskridge elects to bring it out. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they try to go. Tyler Lockett finding room at midfield. Across midfield, he's on his way. Tyler Lockett, touchdown Seahawks. Tyler Lockett, 79 yards. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. He's been the top there. And he ran up and almost the one trying to chase him. Yeah. 
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And right now we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides moving the foot. And now off to the races down the right side. Now he's loose at the 40, inside the 20. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jamal Williams, 71 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Boy, the action just coming fast and furious right now. If you got up to go get a drink from the fridge, you picked the wrong time. Two long touchdowns. Yeah, and that's how you answer a one-play drive with a one-play drive of your own, and you're exactly right. If you step away from the action, my dad took me to a Major League Baseball game when I was eight, and I needed to go to the bathroom. Of course, while we're in the bathroom, grand slam home run. Well, it tends to happen that way, doesn't it? Yeah, my dad still hasn't forgiven me. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that. Tyler Lockett inside the 20. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. It's going to be pretty tough for them to match their efficiency, Charles, in that last possession, needing only the one play to find the end zone on a rushing touchdown. Yeah, they got that together collectively, didn't they? Total group effort. Although the guy toting the rock, he gets all the credit. It was blocked up so well. The only thing stopping him is running into the goalpost in the back of the end zone. A run for Kamara on first down, but the running room closes up quickly as he's only able to get a yard there. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. From midfield, here's Carr. Flush to his right. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Staying on the ground on first with Camaro. And he'll take it in the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Camaro. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have moved out in front. Runs good on the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead. 
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. From the end zone, here comes Eskridge. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Charles, this offense, they've been on a roll. Two drives ago, they scored. Remember, last drive was that one play touchdown strike, so now they're looking to make it three for three. You know, I talked to a Hall of Famer one time about, hey, when you're on defense and these types of things are happening to you, what goes through your mind? And he told me at that point, it's not about schemes. It's not about what's called from the sideline. It's about players. Who's going to make a play, make a stand, and stop this offense from doing what they've been doing? Walker now on first and ten. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Geno now to throw. Man open downfield. It's Metcalf. It's a big play there for Seattle. And even 40 yards. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Smith trying to get him to the line quickly with the clock rolling. Second down, here's Charbonnet. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Smith now to throw. Walker to the grab, left side. Touchdown! Ken Walker as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand new ball game. Myers connects on the PAT, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively or offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. The final 
final shot here before half for Carr. Flushed out right. Got an open man. It's Alave. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 35. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard here's more he will return it well, a dangerous return man showing it here Dwayne Eskridge and he'll bring it back all the way touchdown Seahawks We've sat in a lot of meetings, and they always talk about the offense taking advantage of beginning a half. Because special teams coaches don't listen to that. They want to take advantage with their own unit, and they just did. Yeah, they trailed in the locker rooms, and they changed that immediately. I think they drew that one up special. That felt like something he pulled out of his pocket that he'd been holding for a while, and they were able to use it effectively. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now, they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. And he'll be up in it at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. They fake the handoff. Now call. Tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Devin Witherspoon. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Back to throw, Smith, and Walker has it. It'll go as a gain of four, and it brings up third and five now. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing, but in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, partner, given where that drive started, that's an excellent job defensively to force them into fourth down. And yeah, no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. Yeah. 
They snap it to Smith. That's to his running back complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, that's some kind of effort. When he caught it, I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him. Really good effort. How about the rack on that play, the run after catch? But most of the time, we think of it as just being an open field and picking up yardage. Sometimes you have to be real physical in order to gain the yardage you need for a first down. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Trying the left side with Walker. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they outleveraged them and won the battle. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Just beating the play clock, Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. So the completion good for just three. And now third down and six to go. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now it's Smith. Steps away to his left. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Like any team plan, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Myers' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So, yeah, not just important in the fact that it widens their lead, but really that was a textbook job of just hanging on to the football. And we know all the time that coaches talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's a stat that doesn't matter much, but in this drive, it matters a lot. They want to reduce time and score points and lock this game down. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now Carr. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go with Kamara. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Smith on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Walker. 
And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. The Saints going to call the first of their time.